Today I will be painting my bathtub. Uh, me and my brother finished cabinet building, uh, tiling everywhere. Just finished grouting yesterday or the day before that. And now we definitely need to fix up the bath because this pink colour is quite terrible. Um, first things first. First, the kit that I'll be using is this, um, and we're going for the white finish uh, to match our grout colour. Now all the instructions, everything you need is on this, um, so it's pretty straightforward, you just sort of need to take your time painting. Um, I've got all my tools, everything I need, heaps of um, rags just to Make sure everything's nice and clean and dried. <clears throat> uh, I've got some sanding paper. Now, sanding paper they recommend is um, either 400 or 600, and I've just got both. First, use the 400 to roughen everything up, then 600 to just uh, smoothen everything out. Decent paintbrush, um, safety glasses, and a good. Um, breathing apparatus because the paint is actually pretty toxic so you can probably definitely get away with one of those cheap um, disposable masks and have a well ventilated room and leave every five or ten minutes but I've got one of these so I might as well use it now the kit comes in uh, a big tin uh, as a base and a small tin as the activator and you um, put the activator into the base, um, mix it up well, and then either you can use a roller or a paintbrush uh, to apply it. And this, I should be able to get away with two coats um, with this amount, so I'm happy with that. And I bought this at the local master's store and it was $45 or $50, so can't complain with that. Alright, so as you can see, the bath still needs to get a little bit cleaned up. So I'll just use um, water to get rid of this excess grout. Um, I will cover the drain up with sticky tape and then I'll just cut around it to get, cover up the chrome. I'll fix this up later on. So I've just cleaned the bath relatively easy. Now one really important part is um, to check if there's any grout or paint spots anywhere because just like there because the paint might not be able to grab that on. So just go around thoroughly around the bath and take off any paint spots. And once that's done, um, you could sort of dry it, um, but the next step is to... Uh, well, this light's definitely come in handy on the camera. Um, the next step will be to... Um, uh, use the 400 grit sanding paper and to... Uh, just give everything a nice rub down. So first I'm going to use the 400. I've got sheets like this. A little bit too big so I'll just cut them into either halves or quarters. It'll be easy to handle as well. And give everything a proper sand down. Okay, so the tub's nicely been sanded. Um, I probably recommend using a 400 grit paper because the 600 um, is just too fine and who knows if it actually did anything. But anyway, um, so bathtub's ready to go. Now with this drain pipe what I'm going to do is, obviously I don't want that to be painted. I've just used some simple masking tape and now I'm just going to get a Stanley knife cut around it to get a perfect circle so I'll be able to paint 
sort of the edges of the bathtub around there but I won't be getting the chrome drain so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to give a final wipe over to collect all the dust unfortunately it looks like that I tore the masking tape there but it doesn't matter because I'll just get another strip put it over there and cut around it again and cover it up I've mixed the part A uh, activator with the part B and that's sort of the white outcome that you get you mix both the small can the big can and then you mix both of them together um, just before we start painting get um, just a cloth um, that attracts dust or whatever and just before painting just give everything um, a wipe down just so when you um, paint the surface is going to be nice and clean so yeah um, another thing is that this stuff does smell pretty terrible so make sure you've got a open window um, you can whack on a fan but this one's currently uh, switched off at the moment um, definitely wear a, a respiratory um, mask or whatever wear some gloves because it's not good for your skin either and safety glasses just in case another tip is that I'm going to start painting from the back here um, so I'm not going to be overlapping or touching wet paint or leaning on any anything that's already been painted so yeah here we go So that's just the first coat. So there's plenty of paint left over. Uh, I can't really think much of it, but have to wait an hour or two and then give it another coat and I think it should hopefully improve. The next coat's gonna look like um, and hopefully I should still have some other paint left over. The second coat I'll give a light um, sand with this 600 grit paper and then I'll do a third and whatever else um, other coat I need just for this to be sparkling white Um, so next up I'm going to do another recording of the fourth coat and yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Um, another thing is that you definitely can do this with um, both roller and paintbrush. Roller is probably quicker um, but the paintbrush is definitely good to just um, touch up uh, hard to reach places. Okay, so this is the final product. Um, I'm not sure what the justice the camera's doing, but um, I did about three and a half coats on this, and it it does do the job well. It's not ridiculously smooth, but it's definitely good enough and huge improvement over the initial ridiculously pink bath so um, thumbs up to this, this wasn't that expensive if you can see that the first uh, three, quote, three coats are good enough you can easily just buy yourself another um, sort of kit and do another one or two coats and I have to say that um, you can definitely use both the roller and the paintbrush um, and then after the second coat we, me and my brother sanded everything down and applied um, a third coat and then 
after that we just patched a few places up that needed to get fixed up so yeah that sums it up um, in refurbishing and repainting the porcelain bath at our 